No, we've had a lot of uh, good laughs so far tonight. Uh, however, there are people in this town with real problems. Uh, problems like uh, someone's dog might be ill, uh, their allergies might be acting up, uh, they might be married to the modern day equivalent of Ike Turner. Hey! Hey! <laughs> and in respect to those people with problems, we're going to do a dramatic scene. Can I have two actors up here, please? A man and a woman. Any man, any woman. <laughs> so they're going to do a dramatic scene, it's going to be a good scene, and let's set the stage here. Uh, they go way back, they knew each other back when they were teens, and now they're meeting up again. How did they know each other back when they were teens? They met each other on MySpace. Ah, yes. <laughs> MySpace! Back in, you know, by, MySpace. That's back in 2007! <laughs> <laughs> Through MySpace, and now they're meeting up again. Okay, so they're going to do this scene. It's going to be uh, totally dramatic, straight. However, it's only a matter of time, based because of the way this place is. And one of you, or one of us, is going to laugh or snicker. And uh, that, then, when that happens, the next person in line is going to take the place of whoever caused the laughter. And then the scene will continue on. And uh, once again, they met each other on MySpace when they were teens. They're meeting up again. And this is a very dramatic scene, and this activity is called Make Me Laugh. Yeah. since you dumped me on Facebook. Oh, no, not Facebook. <laughs> My such memories. Right. Well, like I said, I apologize. <laughs> it's, it's really weird meeting you here, though. I mean, are you, are you interviewing for this job, too? Yes, I am. <sighs> so we're like competition, then. Yes. Um, Once again, one of us will be in tears. Bitch. <laughs> Now, Journey, that seems really harsh. I don't think there's any call to be calling names like that. Well, it is what it is. Only one of us can be the next assistant CEO here on Facebook. <laughs> well, I know, and I think it should be me. I mean, I have more experience in my space, you know, from when we met and brought... Oh, I'm sorry, I brought up the breaking up part again. Am I getting in your head at all? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Amber. This is not about my space and Facebook. This is about I asked you to marry me. 15 years ago, and you said no. Well, I know I said no, but it just, it wasn't a good time for me, Jeremy, that's all. And I mean, I thought I explained that when I messaged you. Amber. <laughs> 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 
I mean, Jeremy, look, we, we was never going to make it. I mean, I'm too pretty for you. You're going to clean that up, right? Damn it, you weren't clear back in the dot-com days. That wasn't even your real picture. Well, let's be honest. In your picture, you were a little darker. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, was bad. Well, I prefer my man to be more of like a burnt french fry. <laughs> and less of, you know, the lighter skin, that's all. And I explained that to you. When you messaged me. So you I know. Got it. It's, it's do you know you're making me all uncomfortable before my interview? I'm sorry, that is not my intention at all. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I would really wish you wouldn't touch me. Oh, I'm sorry, I got what? distracted by thoughts, my bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Distracted by <laughs> Amber, I'm gonna take the chivalrous way out. I'm gonna let you get the job. Well, Jeremy, you always a good man. Back in all those days, and wine me and dine me, you were a gentleman. But you never had the hearts. You never were strong enough. You never had any gumption to be better than yourself. I have to say you're right on that account. <laughs> now, if you would have been more of a man back then instead of a boy, maybe I would have agreed to marry you. Kind of makes a ballroom, you know. <laughs> but maybe you've changed. Maybe now that you're trying to make something of yourself going for this job, maybe there's a future for us. Yeah, I could take this job and I would be kind enough to take you back if you act right. You would do that for me? After I broke your heart? I would do it for me because I'm that generous. You're still the selfish son of a bitch you were back then. I knew it. I'm you just never... looking out for you if I get this job, get you a house, pop out some kids for me. It'd be all good. You, you know, know I wanted kids. <laughs> The doctor told me I couldn't have children. <laughs> 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 